Hello and welcome to part three of my Dead Zone project log. Um, at this stage I've started the painting, as you can see at the board in front of me. The first coat was just a uh, black base coat and I did a dry brush of kind of a red, just a basic red and brown acrylic across to get this kind of rust effect. Now, I did the base layer in that style because then later on when I'm coming to do these rooms I've been able to uh, use some uh, salt masking to achieve these kind of like rust patches along uh, the tiles here. So far I've uh, completed two of the rooms, which is the, the lab here, uh, which I've airbrushed in uh, a grey and white as well, and then also the maintenance room over there which is yellow. In this video I'll be doing a time lapse of me kind of um, finishing the room, just at the room at the top here, which I'm not really sure what it is, but this one, uh, these six tiles here, and I'll be doing that in the same way that I've done these with the salt weathering and the salt masking and then also the uh, airbrushing afterwards. So before I begin the painting, I'll be give you a quick demonstration as to how I achieve the uh, the rust effects on the other tiles. Basically, it's a uh, salt weathering, which is this uh, the cheapest salt you can get, but make sure that it's fine grain um, as it gives, tends to give the best effects. All you need is a uh, paintbrush, the salt, and some water. So what you do is you wet your brush in the water, and you just basically apply it to the areas where you want the the rust to appear. So you just kind of just dab it on a little bit like so, and then just kind of speckle the edges slightly as well. So you've just got a slightly wet patch there. And you get a pinch of salt, and then you just kind of sprinkle it over the top of the area that you um, that you want the rust to appear. And then once you've done that, you can just knock off any excess salt once it's done, and that this will stay um, wet. Um, and then as the salt dries, it'll kind of create a mask on the surface, so that when you come to airbrush it, it'll cover it, it'll prevent the paint from getting to that area and then once it's painted just a simple matter of brushing it off and you get the rust effects. So with the basics of a uh, salt masking um, I will now continue with the rest of the video and I'll paint this entire area. So that was a uh, part three of my Dead Zone project log. If you haven't seen any of the videos before, I'll pop the links in the description for part one and part two. Be sure to subscribe to us as well so that you can uh, be kept up to date with any of these uh, project logs that come out in the future. Thanks for watching and goodbye.